Oh shit, man. Here we go, man. I got my guy Snow Gerb, aka Frosty the Snow, man. Yeah, Back man. on Say Cheese TV after five years, man. How you doing? Long time no see, man. Long time no talk, man. You know what's going on, man. I'm still gerbing and all type of shit, man. This shit ain't stopped. Yeah, two of my guys hit me, man, and they sent me some of your videos. The new and, ones? Uh, Cause you know, huh? The new ones? This new shit. So, uh, you know, you've been in and out, well, not in and out of jail, but you've been going through shit. Your life been a roller coaster. So I, I said, man, shit. let me let me tap in with dude, man. It's been so long. Yeah, man. You know, I lost my Instagram mission. I ain't think you was even gonna see it, nigga. I'm like, damn. Nah, bro, man. One thing about me, man, I, I tap in, man. I don't I don't forget where I came from. Real I remember nigga. you you accepted me with open arms when I was in LA at that time. That's what I was telling him. I'm like, man, I'm like, man, I nigga Sean, he was on the Melrose, nigga. That nigga was kicking it for about an hour. We was carpool, all type of shit. I told you. I'm like, nah, I'm like, that nigga real nigga for real. Man, real talk, man. It's, I'm glad to see you, man. And you in good spirits too, man. Always. Always. I can tell you have I can tell you genuinely happy right now. Nah, yeah, hell yes. Yeah. A lot of shit going on. You feel me behind closed doors, but I always keep a smile on my face, man. You know, you gotta always, you know. Can't let them yeah. see you fucked up. Feel me? Now, now you didn't went from being skinny to swole to being skinny again. <laughs> I got shot as shit, bro. You know that shit knocks some weight off of a nigga. Shit ain't nothing though. You feel so me? So what you you so what you got out of jail and stopped working out or what? Mm -mm. Uh, I told you I got shot. Yeah, I got shot twice. Mm, you did. You I got did. shot back to back. So that shit like knocked like fifteen pounds up off you like each time probably like twenty fifteen pounds depending on how bad it is. Yeah. Then they, you know, they be how you doing them drugs and shit, all them. So you know, nigga don't be eating. But I'm cool right. though. So I still knock a nigga out. You know, one two. <laughs> um, so let let me go back to that. When you got shot, a lot of people thought you were dead. Yeah. You know, that on the hoping. blogs and. A lot of people DMing us at that time. I don't know if it was because of how you got shot or was it because it was close range. I know you were in a car, right? Nah, I wasn't in the car. I was outside the car. That just was the internet, what they thought. Okay. But I was outside the car. We was never in the car at all. Okay. The and car situation happened because the homie hopped in the car after and tried okay. to go to the hospital. Okay. So, I mean, that's over and done with. You survived. You recovered. But I mean, was did that did that day change your life? Do you look at life totally different now? Hell yeah, they my one of my best friends died in front of my face. Hell yeah, that shit changed my life forever. Mm -hmm. I already know how to explain it, but but at the same time, it made me go harder in this music shit. Cause I made a promise to my homie, you feel me, that I ain't go waste my life, you feel me, because mm -hmm. his got took. So yeah. I gotta go hard. I, I mean, was rich. this on some y'all chilling on the block type shit? Was it in the studio or what? No, I was chilling on the block. He was he was, he was, uh, we was at the barbershop. He was getting his haircut. It was our hood day. So that's how niggas knew it was right there, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what happened, bro. I just pulled up for like three minutes, bro. I just pulled up. Next thing you know, nigga, I, I hit the blunt, passed it, and nigga, nigga it was a drive-by. Feel me? Some shit like that. Random shit. It, how many times were you hit? Once. Once, yeah, where once. at? Right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, so it, it wasn't too life threatening, right? Hell yeah, nigga. That shit, I don't know why, but the, it was like a four five. So like when that shit hit me, nigga, that shit like it hit me right here. Then it went through right here. Then it went through right here. Then it hit me in my back. I don't know. That shit knocked my whole legs off. I don't know what happened. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. It just some shit when you get shot, bro. Everybody gets shot different. You feel me? And, and what what's going through your mind at that time? Do you think it's over for you? Do you think, I mean. Nah, I knew I wasn't finna die. I just was like, I hope they don't hop out the car and finish me. You feel me? I'm just thinking like, them these niggas bitches though. That's all I'm thinking. I'm saying it too, like y'all some bitch ass niggas. Oh my mama, mm -hmm. you feel me? I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking like, nigga, I don't know what to think, nigga. You feel me? And we was like trapped in the corner, wasn't nowhere to run. You feel me? So it was just like I'm about to die or it's whatever though. You feel me? Like, I don't know. I couldn't really, you know. It just life. It just happened. Yeah. I don't know. And, 
And where's your homie at at the time? Did you know at we that was, time? We was talking was... to a bitch. Just talking to some weird ass bitch. She had pulled up, and we he was on her the driver's side of her car, and I was on the passenger side of the car like this, and we was talking to her, and she was talking to both of us like this, and I just asked her some quick shit. Cause we're supposed to get tatted, you feel me? And she just asked, like, you coming tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, boom. And I bounced off the car, cause that was like his little bitch. So I bounced off the car, like, you feel me? I ain't want to talk to her no more. Then I see this weird ass car pulling up and I'm thinking it's the homies. And then I look and then they just like, it was some weird ass niggas, you feel me? Mm -hmm. They just start blowing. Like they never, they didn't say nothing and then they start blowing. I don't know. And he dies right then and there. Nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Like, shit, I got shot first, you feel me? I fall, I can't even go nowhere. Now my legs don't work, you feel me? I don't know what's going on. Then they pull around, they shoot him, like, what's right here, what's right here, what's right here? He was still up, though, you feel me? But I knew he was dying because he was stumping. Like, when he was running, he was stumping real hard. Damn. Yeah, and then he hopped in the car. I'm trying to hop in the car, but I'm crawling. I'm trying to hop in. Feel me? He hurry up and pull it off. Like he was nervous. He pulled it off. And he crashed. Like probably like 10 seconds later. He didn't get that far. He crashed uh, right across the street. And this is during the hood day. So what is it like? A hundred people outside, maybe? Yeah, but all the homies, my little brother, all them niggas just went down the street to get something to eat. So like soon as we got shot, like everybody popped up in my face. It was like everybody was in my face already. The homie was just part, it was like, it was niggas in the parking lot, but everybody was parking their cars and shit, you feel me? We were just the niggas that happened to be outside, you feel me? Just the luck of the draw type shit, I don't know. But everybody was all like, once I was down, everybody was in my face, niggas was calling my mom, calling my baby mom, everybody, everything was straight, you feel me? I was just, I didn't know. I mean, so you go to the hospital, and how long do you stay there? Oh, for like two weeks, like two weeks or something, like two weeks, three weeks. I would sleep for like three days. I don't know, like two or three weeks. I think I seen something like you escaped the hospital or some, <laughs> something of that sort. <laughs> I'm trying to think if that was that time. Um. God damn, what you mean that time? <laughs> How many times you been in there for Cause I got shot? shot again right here. I got shot, I talking about the zipper. That was Shit. like that was like two months after, like three months after probably. But yeah, on God, I think I started, I started getting better. I started wanting to smoke and they didn't want to let me smoke. So I just like, man, fuck this shit, I gotta go. Gotta get home. What are you, what are you doing? I mean, cause, the energy you give off is you give off to me. You give off good energy. You don't give off that gang banger. Yeah. If so anything, you, you always like talk. Yeah. If anything, you always talk about women getting money. You don't give off that that gang banger energy. So where is all this hate coming from? Are you fucking niggas, girls? What's really going on? I gay bay. So like you know, I got like I was like I don't be like really exploiting it like all of them because I'm not like no talker. Like I'm not gonna make this songs about niggas and all that weird ass type shit. You feel me? I just. Handle my candle, like you feel me? Mm -hmm. What's in front of me, like you feel me? So I don't know. That's gonna always be like, that's not forever shit, like you feel me? I'm from where I'm from, so they gonna always hate me, like whoever gonna hate me. Mm -hmm. That just like, that's what they posted, that's their job, like you feel me? So that ain't really nothing. I don't really care about none of them niggas though, like you feel me? I like, I'm trying to get rich for real, you feel me? Yeah. It's still fuck them, but you feel me? Right. It's like, I'm not really worried about niggas, you feel me? Like you said, I be on hoes, I be on this, I be on cars, clothes, money, you feel me? What niggas supposed to be on. So, two months after that, you get shot again? Mm-hmm. Is this like the same type of situation, you just being at the wrong place, wrong time? Yeah, wrong place, wrong time. Gaga food, gazy ass shit happened. You feel me? Stupid ass shit. Somebody stole my car, we packed their ass out, they shot me. I was the slowest one. I was trying to run. I was too slow. Hmm. Feel me? I was already <laughs> shot. Feel me? It ain't nothing. I don't know. That time though, it was like, damn, I know this feeling on like you know, I knew the feeling though. It still hurt it though. It hurt bad. But like, you know, that shit ain't nothing. I mean, you lucky to make it out, bro. A lot of people don't make it. Nah, yeah, for real. Oh God, oh God, yeah. I'm blessed for real.
That's why I'm going to just keep being blessed. I'm going to keep spreading my love. That's all. Yeah. Do you think um, do you think you're the hottest in the West Coast right now? Hell yeah. Like, as far as, like, I can be, you feel me? I Like, as the views right now, of course, you know, we got all type of niggas who get gang of views, gang of views. I think I'm the most talented. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I feel like I can make the dopest song. I feel like you like you might get the dopest feature out of me. Like if you come to LA, if you from another state, and you do a song with me, him, 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 you gonna probably like my song the most. You feel me? And it might get, you feel me? Like some of the most views. You feel me? Real organic views, like not just views because niggas just got subscribers or this and that. Like niggas just might really just tap in just because they like the song. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Type of vibe. I see, I see you rocking shows too, man. Everybody not doing that. With no Instagram. I only got, you feel me? I got like 10K, 20K on Instagram. I keep doing it because niggas love me. You feel me? I'm just, yeah. I'm me. You feel me? I'm one on one. So they gonna keep coming. We just gotta keep it getting, getting bigger and bigger. Every show, every show, yeah, bigger it, and bigger. Yeah, it, it's artists with millions of followers and millions of views who don't, they don't get any shows. They don't get booked or anything. They got fake followers and fake views. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Shit, that's all I can say. They got fake shit. I don't know shit. Or like, you know, like you can have followers, but like people won't be interested in you. They'll just yeah. follow and then just forget. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to keep people yeah. interested. Mm-hmm. That's why I like, like, I like test. I, I ain't going to say testing myself, but life tests me. Just period, like they keep deleting my Instagram. I gotta make a new one. A lot of people are freaked the fuck out. Their Instagram get deleted. They might cry. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. I just keep going, keep going. I yeah. ain't nothing stopping me ever. You feel me? That's how I feel. Cause it's it's deeper than the music, man. You got to know how to entertain outside of music too, and I think you do a good job of that. Yeah, I'm not even really trying to do it. I'm just that's just me. You feel me? Yeah, that's just what I do. You feel me? But if I try. I feel like I could go super big, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I just gotta get the right people, the right connections, the right people around me, people that believe in me, you feel me? That's all. Yeah. Now, I mean, what's up with the West Coast? It seems like it's a disconnect. And what I mean by that is like, I don't wanna say nobody's checking for the West Coast because there's definitely people out there making noise, but it's not a national thing right now. It's like y'all are kinda on an island right now. Yeah, you are right. I feel like we all got some work to do as a whole. Like, you know what it is with the West Coast? We don't feel like we a whole, like, like, you know how like another city, like you see how Detroit or like Atlanta, they all be collabing with each other. You be like, damn, I know a group of them niggas, but they all still one artist, they not a group. You get what I'm saying? Like us, it be like, niggas be like, I don't know when niggas be on out here full. They be trying to just have everything for they self. I'm not on that though. You feel me? Like, I, I like to collab with whoever I think is hard. You feel me? As long as, like, it ain't gonna put me in no danger. Like, you're not an op or something to where it's gonna be like my homies gonna be looking at me strange and shit. But other than that, like, nigga, if it's straight, you might as well get it in, nigga. It's, like, once I learn, like, the distro kid system and all that shit where you get the money and you just put the song out and all that shit, man, that shit, like, make it. Cracker or something, that shit easy. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Put it out. It's gonna make money. You don't even gotta sell it. You feel me? You don't even gotta put the work in to really sell this shit unless you want to. I do. You feel me? I, I be everybody DM promoting my shit. Everybody. Any bad bitch on Instagram, I'll probably in that bitch DM promoting my shit though. I ain't trying to holler at her or nothing. I just wanted to like and comment and subscribe. Mm-hmm. That's it. And come to the show. But, but, you know, L.A. super segregated. You know, everybody can't work with everybody because of the politics. You think that's another reason why shit's so fucked up? Nah, these niggas act like divas out here. It ain't even that. Like, you know, some niggas know, like, oh, yeah, I can't work with you. You know what it is. But, like, it's it's cool, though. You feel me? I ain't trying to kill you or nothing. But some niggas, it's like, we can't work, but you just don't want to because you on your diva shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's what I be feeling like. I don't know what niggas be on. But I get niggas like chances because I used to be like like that, bro. I didn't want to do features with niggas at a time. You feel me? When I thought I was hot and all that. Like, you feel me? I didn't want to. I used to be selective and shit. I still am. You feel me? But I'm a little more like, all right. Like, I open up my music. Like, I feel like I just got older. 
Feel me? I open up my music horizon. I'm like, all right, yeah, he kind of hard. He dope. I don't think everybody just weak no more. You feel me? So mm -hmm. that's what made me open and want to work with niggas. And I know, like, if me and you, if I can make 500K views and you can make 500K views, that's a million views. Boom, let's just do it. You feel me? Why not? Right. Shit, well, last time I seen you, well, five years ago, um, you, I mean, you were with Almighty J Suspect, at the time. Not J, that you talk about, I don't know that nigga. You talk about the Almighty J, we don't even know that nigga Dave, that's what I'm saying. He's no. <laughs> my bad, yeah, my oh, bad, dog. <laughs> No kidding. He gonna kill me just cause, I, but no, 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 I don't want to do him like that. I know I don't want to do him like that. It's Almighty Suspect. My bad. It's it's late. It's late over here. I'm on East Coast you ain't time. Even know his name, <laughs> fool. It's cool. It's cool. We we. But, but uh, Almighty uh, <laughs> Almighty Suspect, man. Uh, wh what's that like, man? What's that whole situation like, and what happened? Shit, nothing. That nigga's a buster. It ain't nothing. Shit. I don't see that nigga. He don't see me. If he do, he know it's an issue. It ain't nothing. That shit easy. That shit, I don't know. I don't see that nigga though. I'm outside every day. No cap. I don't Damn, know. man, it's 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 messed up, man. Cause y'all was really <laughs> boys at that time, man. Nah, we was cool, but he he did some bitch shit, fool. Like I don't fuck with bitch niggas, bro. I don't do that type of shit. Like I'm a real like type nigga, bro. Like if you if I feel like you doing some buster shit and I come and holler at you about it, and you not trying to fix it, like that mean you just a bitch. Like I don't know. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you get know what I'm saying? Like, you got a homie, nah, he's doing you. some shit that you, you ain't feeling, and you come holler at him like a man, and he just, like, not listening. You feel me? That shit make a nigga mad. Like, you feel me? Especially a real nigga, like, because I'm coming to holler at you. Like, I don't even got to talk to you. Like, me, I'm a whole man. I got a bitch and kids to go home to or talk to. I don't need to talk to a whole ass grown man. You feel me? So when I miss taking the time, it's like, bro, you need to listen, bro, because I don't, you feel me? And that nigga don't listen. He think he know everything, so I don't know. I don't fuck with niggas like that. I don't know. Can't really Damn, how long, is, how long has it been? Two years? Hell no, I ain't talked to that nigga like five, six years. Damn. That nigga's like not even thought of mm. type shit. I don't even, that nigga even got a soul out. Nah, man, he's been doing this thing at No Jumper. I guess. Shit, tell him give me an interview, too. <laughs> tell me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, now, how long were you in, in, in jail for? Shit, like, tw like two years or something. Like two years. And is this in, is this in L.A. County? Yeah. That's the worst jail to me, shit. Damn, especially you with somebody too. Yeah, I don't know about everywhere else. Like, I can't say, I heard Chicago bad and shit, but I'm talking about like around these parts. Like LA County, that's where it's at, bro. I don't know about everywhere else. Niggas tripping in there, for sure. Man, you went through, they put you through hell? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I swear to God, like, besides, like, I didn't get stabbed or nothing like that or, like, you no know, no crazy shit, like, you feel me? But, like, I don't know. I feel like I had one of the worst times in there, bro, out of, like, everybody, like, type shit. Like, you feel me? I don't know. Like, why? Because you, you a public figure. Yeah, niggas is just on my dick, bro. Set. That's just gay. Niggas is gay. I don't know. And cause I, it's, like, the hood I'm from. Like, nobody like us, fool. Like, you feel me? So it's, like. You know? Yeah. Like our enemy's super thick. Like it's a gang of them niggas, like roaches. Like they all in there every dorm you go to, you feel me? And it's like if you don't fight me, they gonna look like a bitch. So it's like they got to. I was whooping ass hey, though. Two, on that street. How how many fights two years? How many fights? Like it was like my first my first 30 days, I had like 11 fights. Then, it was like the next 60 days, I had like 10 more. Then I got out, went back or some shit, had like five more. I had like 30 all together, like all my life in there. But like, to, like it was like I, I, I got my fights out the way. I never did like more than six months in the county. 
So it's mm -hmm. like once I left the county, it was like I'm in a pen. Like niggas not even fighting there, really. Unless you gotta get in a riot or something. I had like one fight in the pen, you feel me? Other than that, regular. So I had like 30 fights, but it was like in four months, you feel me? Type of shit. Then I got up out of there. So the minute you step in there, niggas is going crazy. They treating you like you a fucking animal or some shit. Yeah, it's like the dog powder there. Like you ever been in the dog pouch? I look for a dog. Yep. They just bark at this shit. That's what it's like. <laughs> like you just walking through niggas, just yelling all type of bullshit. The homies, they just, <laughs> niggas yeah, crazy. Yeah, and I mean, I, I appreciate you for keeping it real too, because most niggas would have, you know, exaggerated. But you know, we're human. Mm. Like you being it, you being in there. Was there any time where you was like, I may not make it home? Like, these niggas hate me. They want to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, that's like low key every day, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That's like Shit. every day, bro. Niggas is J Cash, bro. You gotta remember, you in there with broke ass niggas. Some niggas not, but majority of them niggas ain't got nothing to go home to. Them niggas don't give a fuck, nigga. Especially in there. It's like, I don't know. That shit crazy. That shit wild in there, bro. You might not make it. On the dead homies, you might mm. not. Like, I just don't want to go back. You feel me? I'm not trying to go back because I might not make it. You feel me? Like, mm. it's that type of vibe. You feel me? Like, you can make the wrong nigga mad. He might come stab your ass up right on the yard in front of everybody. Damn. Or you might stab his ass. You got to just stab his ass up. You feel me? Whatever. Like, I don't know. It's just like, you know, yeah. it's like a jungle in there. You know? Mm -hmm. Especially when I got to the pen. That shit reminded me of, like, Mesco or something. Like, I just get in there, it's fires burning on the side. Niggas doing tattoos. It's buff-ass niggas, super buff. Like, I don't know. It's just, I'm just sitting there looking. As soon as I get in there playing my song, Oh My God, on the speaker, it was like some wow. bars, some bitches. They was, they was on my dick, that homies. I was playing the songs and shit. I'm like, hey, I talk to him. I'm like, hey, tell that bitch go turn that shit off. Oh, you feel me? It was too many niggas why, why? looking at me. Why, why you want your song off? Cause we in jail, bro. You don't want the attention. It ain't nothing nice in here. Ain't nothing sweet niggas licking like who the fuck is cuz? Like, mm. you feel me? They <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the dead homies, you feel me? They just all looking like, you feel me? Ain't nobody smiling and shit, bro. It ain't nothing. It ain't that type of vibe. Everybody mad. Niggas, bitches getting fucked. Niggas ain't got no money. Niggas hungry. Niggas ready to sock somebody. Everybody, you feel me? That's what they getting buffed for. They're not getting buffed because they bored. They're getting buffed because they want to sock a nigga. You feel me? How, how, how many push-ups were you doing a day? Because you got out on some on some buff shit, dog. <laughs> you look like a linebacker when you came out that drum, man. Push-ups? I think I did like a million push-ups in my life. But like a day, like minimum 500. You got to do 500. In jail, 500? A minimum. That's like, that's easy. That's only 30 now. So that's 30. 29, 28, 27, all the way to one. And that's like, niggas doing that in like an hour, not even, like 45 minutes. And then like, if you feel like going again later on that night, you could do another 500, that's a thousand. That ain't nothing to jail niggas. They do that shit all day. They just big and shit, I don't know. That just, it's nothing to do. It's nothing to do. Feel me? And that shit was like, that shit was like mandatory? Ain't nothing mandatory for me. No, I'm just saying, like, for, to survive, it's kind of like, man, I got I to gotta get on the even playing field. Hell no. I just see some niggas don't do nothing. Lay on their bed all day, get up and dock niggas out. I see it's just, like, <laughs> with, nigg like with niggas, we don't got to do nothing. Like, we do, but, like, niggas, you know how niggas act? Niggas can't act like can't nobody tell them nothing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's what it be sometimes, like. You you gotta listen to something. You feel me? You gonna always listen to something, but at the end of the day, you could be like, "Fuck you, niggas!" Like, nah, you feel me? Like, type yeah. shit. Mexicans they can't do that. They get they tripping. They got they shit structured tight. You feel mm -hmm. me? They not going for no ROP type shit. You gonna get your ass whipped right now for sure. When you went to prison, well, when you went to jail for the two years, did you lose? Did you lose all your girls? Uh, All right, hey man, you know I'm, a, you know I'm gonna ask you the real shit, man. I'm gonna ask you the real shit. Nah, like my real, like not, not my real bitch. Like you feel me? No, 
Hell no. Like, the fake was here. I, I lost the fake was immediately. Like, the next mm. day, probably. They probably was sucking dick as soon as I went in. Feel me? But my real one, no, she's still here. Go always be here. You feel me? Type shit. But that's just me. Like, that's because I build real relationships with people. You feel me? So, if I do got to go away, you know, it was always, you know, like, they could speak good at me at least. They could always have some bad shit to say, but they could always have some good shit to say too. You feel me? Right. Type of vibe. Like, some niggas be dogging all their bitches, so when they go to jail, they bitches all get fucked, you feel me? Because they didn't really build nothing real. They didn't have no money, nothing real. They didn't live with no bitches, you feel me? They just all had little link-ups, little sneaky links, you feel me? Yeah. You can't expect them to stay around. Absolutely. Uh, I, I like what you do on Twitter, uh, where you post uh, the screenshots. And oh, like sending me women, a, a, my DMs and shit. Well, the screen top. I, I don't. I don't know if it's like some of your girls. And one girl was like, uh, one girl was like, uh, he something. She made two thousand and six hours. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's my little text messages and shit. Yeah, I like that, man. I'm gonna actually post one of them on say cheese uh, this weekend and, and see the good reaction. Good but good uh. Good. But you you also tweeted uh you said if you hit on the first night she will never pay you. Yeah, that's kind of true. You believe that? Like, like nah, and yeah, like it's like man, it's like bro, it's like when you run into these bitches, bro, you can't be fucking these bitches on the first day, bro, because they gonna think like if you run into a real a, a real you know. One that's gonna give you that cash, you feel me? She gonna buy this nigga a square, he giving out meat to her to anybody. That's mm. how she gonna think. But if you mm. like get it like bro, I didn't got her some bitches where it's like, of course like I could fuck. Like the bitch already at my house, she already in my car, she already let me feel on her pussy. Feel me? Of course I could fuck. But it's like, man, what's up? Like, you know? I don't wanna say too much, you know, but you feel me, you know what, you know, like what's up, bitch? And some of them really be like, damn, like this nigga on some shit. And they really like, like I done had bitches pull up for music videos and it was like, man, I wish we could do something else. Like we gonna do the video though, but I wish we could really get the shit going. You feel me? Go get a GLE truck or something. And they be like, yeah, that's what I'm on. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, well then boom. And then now it's like, it's way better than pussy. I mean, you can still get the pussy, but it's like, the money and pussy, even better. For me, what, what what's the most a girl ever uh gave you, cashed you out? At once. At one time. Not that much. These bitches be broke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like you feel me? They get a little five. You feel me, little five, ten thousand. You feel me, but that hey, that five, that's a lot. Five thousand is a lot to a lot of people. Nah, it's cool. On God, it is. That's straight. On God, I'm like, shit, come give me five thousand right now. I'm gonna do backflips. Shit, I ain't tripping. You feel me? But I'm gonna make her do some backflips for the five. I need about twenty five. You feel me? But I'm just saying though, like, uh, I don't know. That shit is lovely, bro. You know, I'm not on no type of. I'm not. I don't know. I'm just here to give what, I mean, receive what is given to me. I'm not on no type of, I don't know what you talking about. You feel me? Yeah. You you but also said when a, when your chick is mad at you, take her to Target. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's a little Grindheart E. Uh, Grindheart E. I forgot the other nigga name. I think Tony Rose. They came up with a mixtape. That shit hard. Tap in with them niggas. You but you must believe that though. No, for sure. My bitch always take at, her to Target. My bitch always at Walmart and Target. I don't know why. <laughs> that shit. I hate them places. I can't go in there. I like Target though. If you are Target, now Target is cool. I don't like Walmart. Now, a lot of people when they hear your music, and and it's it's forever been like this. You get compared to Blueface. Yeah. Um. You've been out way before Blueface is documented. Uh -huh. um, 
especially like the yeah, I, yeah. like the ad libs and all that. You've even came out and say people say everybody says that Blueface is influenced, is he's inspired by you. Uh-huh. Have y'all ever spoke, ever met, ever linked up anything? Nah, I seen him before, but he didn't see me. Like I was at Blue Moon, we both go to like I think he be getting jewelry from there and shit. So I be getting my jewelry from there. And I was in the car smoking in front of that motherfucker, and he had pulled up. And he bounced out the car and went up in there, but I didn't really say nothing. I just was looking, smoking and shit. I was with the homies and shit. But I just, I don't know. I seen him one time and that shit, but I ain't never really, like, I don't know. Shit, that nigga all at me, I don't know. Shit, I'll be, I don't be tripping on these. I mean, and let's keep it real. And I know, like, you're so past this. I know you you're, you got a lot going on, but I do want to touch this. What did he steal? Is it the ad libs? Is it everything? Is it ten percent? Is it ninety percent? What did he? Is it the dance? Is it is what is it? Nah, I mean I don't know. I'm just trying to do a feature. I'm just trying to do a feature. That nigga, I'll be letting that nigga do his own thing. I like that nigga. Oh God, you feel me? He be doing his thing for sure. You for feel sure. me? I ain't tripping on that nigga like that. You feel me? I just need a feature. That's all. So you shit. think by y'all working together, that'd be that's that'd just paying be that, that, that 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 it's like yeah. it's like Steph Curry and Jordan Poole, like you know, like it's like Steph Curry hating on Jordan Poole or something like right. Nah, he just you know like he on some shit like me, like you feel me? Yeah, like y'all on the same team type shit, but just like link up. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Shit, I don't know about everybody else. That's what I be on. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Um, you feel me? But it's definitely undeniable, though. It's definitely undeniable I mean, when you yeah, go listen I mean, to the I music. Mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm just a person like that, bro. Like, I, I've been like that since I was a kid in the hood, everything. Like, my whole squad like that, bro. Like, me, it's like certain of us, like, when we get around people. Like, even though I've never been around, bro, but he, he used to hang out with, with the almighty nigga or whatever. I guess they used to hang out or whatever. You know, that nigga liked to mimic me like a motherfucker. So, he probably, you know, whatever. But... I don't know. I'm just like that, bro. Like, people I get around, they start, they just, everybody is like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you start hanging with me, you might just start saying garb or something. You might, because it's cool, like, and you with me, and it's like, that's the homie, and it's like, you know, you might you don't got to steal a nigga identity, but it's like, you just learn shit from people you around, bro. You feel me? It's not nothing about it. It's just like, Oh, man, I can't really explain that shit. It's like I drive fast. I drive fast like a motherfucker. You feel me? I be driving crazy, but I know how to do it. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I know how to smoke, drive, sip, lean, get on the phone. I know how to, you feel me? I got, well, you got anybody in the car and they be scared as fuck, but like, did we die though? You feel me? We mm-hmm. don't die. You feel me? We good. We make it to our spots and we make it there quick. You feel me? But what I'm saying is, like, people, they start learning that. Like it's not like it's not trying to be like me. It just it just seeing like damn this nigga don't be waiting at red lights. He be cutting corners. He be doing this. He don't be waiting in traffic. He be going all on the right side. They just learn shit. They pick it up. You feel me? It ain't nothing like like they trying to see you know. It ain't nothing like that. I don't look at it like that. You know. That's a good mentality to have because a lot of people would they would be ready to crash out. If somebody stole their style and made millions of dollars off of their style, you like, man, fuck that, man. Let's work. Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I don't you could you could be on this interview right now trying to Just tear bashing, him down. Bashing and, him and shit on some weirdo shit, but I'm not like that. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I don't be on that type of shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. RJ, that's the reason I performed that Rolling Loud, like back in back in I think 2019. Like, RJ had hit me up, and he was like, come to roll out with me, you feel me? And we was in the car, he had hollered at me. He was like, bro, like, he was like, you know why I fuck with you? And then I'm like, why, what's up? Like, what happened? And he like, man, because you went on that interview, and they had asked you something. It was like a No Jumper interview. They like, asked something about a nigga Blueface. And he was like, I ain't gonna lie, any nigga with a regular nigga would have been on, been went on there bashing him, all type of shit. He was like, you just kept it solid, like. He like, I, I, I fuck with that. Like, and then he was like, we just rocked out the show. Dead homies, like, you feel me? That's why I just try to stay a real nigga because more realer 
company gonna come to you, you feel me? I don't really, you see, I don't be on songs with industry niggas and all that type shit, because them niggas be fake, bro, you feel me? Like, all the people I got songs with, I kind of got a connection to them in some way, you feel me? Right. Like, I be screening niggas first, like, mm -hmm. can't be no bitch, can't do that, uh, certain shit, you feel me? But everybody right. I got a, a song with, I kind of got a connection with him. I done did something with him. We got a, a memory, something. Feel me? Unless he just paid for it. It's a feature. Even when a nigga pay for a feature, I'll still be having him pull up. You could ask any nigga. Any nigga that didn't gave me some money for a feature or if we got a video. Man, ask him how I am, bro. Any nigga book me for a show. I don't act bougie with niggas, none of that type. So I'll be fuck with niggas. I'll be pulling up. Dead homies. I'll be even pulling up with niggas selling these shirts. I be pulling up to niggas' hoods. I didn't pull it up. It was a gang of Mexicans outside, like 30 of them, and they was tripping. Talking about, well, nigga, where that Benz go? I'm like, man, who the fuck is all them niggas? But once they seen me, they was just like, man, what's up, bro? You feel me? I don't know. So you feel me? I don't, I don't know. I be on everything. I be on regular nigga shit sometimes. You feel me? Real nigga shit, though. Mm hmm You You smoke weed every day? Hell yeah. Hell you yeah. addicted? Nah, I'm not addicted. I just smoke weed because I like it. So you can I function without smoke it? I more weed than Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. No kidding. <laughs> I ain't going to cap. I think I got them niggas beat. We can have a smoke off. You, you, uh, you, uh, you could function without it? Yeah. You can still make good music without it? Hell yeah. Hell what yeah. about syrup? I don't need that either. I don't need none of this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I just like it. Feel what I'm saying? How, how much do you think you spend on it a month? On lean? Everything. On weed and lean? I'm not gonna ask you what you do, but everything that you do, what do you think you spend on it a month? I try to limit it. Like, but with, with the weed and lean together, probably like 10000 Maybe like seventy five hundred. That's it. You feel me? regular you know i probably smoke like a pound of myself you know do whatever with the other one probably but the lean i for sure spend like four thousand a month that's it i'm not i ain't that addicted you know I'll you're not that addicted you're addicted but not that addicted no i'm not even addicted i'm not addicted i just got a certain plan with somebody to where it's like i gotta buy it from them because <laughs> what the fuck is like, yo you funny <laughs> nah like it's like a wholesale it's like a wholesale type of thing you know what i'm saying it's like if I got you come you. out with some shirts and you make a deal with me where i gotta buy 25 of them a month right stick to that deal it's like you on subscription type shit yeah like me i gotta buy this certain amount every month or if i don't i don't got to i can cut it all off but then it's like once i cut it off and try to go back it probably won't be the same the relationship is fucked up because you cut me but, off, you feel me? But it's like after a while, four or five years of that, that's damn near a million dollars that you spent, that you got. I'm <clears throat> I'm not going to say you, you wasting the money because that's your vice. That's what you enjoy doing. But it's like, don't you ever sit back like, God damn, this shit. I could, this money could have went to a fucking NBA young boy feature or of any anybody feature. I could put this towards property and invested it back into my career you don't ever just sit back like i'm not a woulda coulda shit ass nigga okay like i don't do that i don't even say those type of words like i don't even put that in my head vocabulary now i tell niggas stop saying that shit like what is coulda shitta you gotta work on what you about to do right now today and what you amen, amen. i agree you feel me that lean is bought and shit <laughs> that shit is done. I'm faded. I'm crazy talking off that shit though. I talk crazy <laughs> off it. You feel me? That's why I like it. Cause I, it give me another vibe. It give me a. I don't know. I don't even wanna. If it, man, that shit made me feel. I'm getting my dick sucked all day. No cap. Like you know how you feel when you get some head. That's how I feel with some lean all day. Just like this. Chilling. You don't ever get. You don't ever get constipated? Because that Hell lean is yeah, something I serious. Get constipated. Hell yeah, but I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'll am i be shitting on niggas all day. I'm used to it. I ain't worried about it. 
You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Do you hear me though? <laughs> 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 nah, that shit ain't nothing, bro. That shit make me. It, it's cool. I like it. You feel me? If I want to stop, I can. Like if I go to jail, I don't be like, damn, I wish I had some lean. Like I don't give a fuck. Nah, about shit. if you bro, 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 if you go to jail, you're definitely having withdrawals. You're definitely what having withdrawals. Like what's withdrawals? What is that? Like what's lean withdrawals? I don't know what that is. Like you'll find out when you when you have to stop cold turkey. Nigga, I've been to jail plenty. Of time. I've been to jail twenty three times. I ain't God. ever, I ain't ever had like where it was like, oh, I need it. My God, no, it's not nothing like that for me. Like, but that's what I'm a strong minded nigga though. Yeah, but that's why I don't try coke and shit like that. Like, cause I feel like I'ma like it, and mm. then once I like it, I got money, and then all my money gonna go to it. So I just, you know, I'm strong. I was like, nah, I just don't like it. I don't want to do it. I might like it. Feel me? And if I like something, I abuse that shit. You feel me? That's how I am. Like, I got phases. Like, I sit lean every day, and then probably in, like, a couple years, I get over it. Feel me? I get over it, or I might not. What about, like, uh, perks and all that shit, pills? Do you ever, do you, you... I don't fuck with that shit. I don't fuck with all that shit. I just like I don't know I don't fuck with that type of shit. I, it's just like not my vibe. I like shit that I like downer drugs that like that is a downer, but it's like a pill. Like you know I don't. That's like white boy drugs or something. I don't know. I do like nigga drugs, mm-hmm. rich nigga drugs. Yeah, man. But I I mean, hey, I get what you're saying. It's just you've been shot twice. You need to be aware. Sometimes being high. It's not going to be in your best interest. No, look, sometimes being high will keep you in the house. Like, when I get high off the lean, I'll take that whole bottle and go play 2K for, like, six days. It's high as a bitch talking shit on PlayStation. Feel me? Like, or I'll go sit in the <laughs> studio. i sit in the studio and just talk shit on the mic. But it made me want to be by myself. It made me comfortable with being away from niggas. Like, it's like my friend. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like I don't need no bitches or nothing. Like, if I got some lean... I could just, I could bake it by myself. Like, I'll just find something to do. Like, I, mean, I could ride with by myself. Lean made me want to go to Flemings, East State. It made me want to just, like, do fly shit, bro. Like, I don't know. But I, I, I be still on shit, though. Like, you know, mm. it ain't nothing to, to click a, the remote. You feel me on it, nigga? I ain't fighting nobody. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't doing no fighting, bro. I'm I'm coming with love and peace. Facts. So, all the women, Brittany Renner, well, let me go back. Brittany Renner just said that uh, she has 35 bodies in her life. She a hottie. I ain't gonna cap. She hot. She just told you a music video. I'll for the same. What, what about it? Would you add her to your team? Oh, I mean, anybody can come to the team as long as they're ready to uh, sell the dream. You know what I'm saying? 30, uh, but yeah. 35 uh, bodies? Nah, that ain't a lot. She just keeping it real. Like, definitely. There's bitches who got way more than that. I, could, I know bitches. I could count her bodies for the bits, how many she got, the, how many homies that told me he hit the bits. You feel me? But she just keeping it active. You feel me? That's kind of a lot, though. On gang, it's kind of a lot. Uh, she maybe that's like three three bodies a year. A year? That's not boo. Like, bitch, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> For real, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I would have want my bitch to have thirty five niggas fucked, and then she probably fucked thirty five popping niggas. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I'm straight off that type of shit. She getting sent, no cap. You like here on F Street. That's why these hoes don't want to see me. They don't want to meet me. They don't. They don't like me. Some of them do, but because they know I keep it real on the hook. I tell them how it is, what it is, and what it ain't. For real, for real. Feel me? All that thirty-five bodies, hundred niggas you fuck. Oh yeah, let's go fuck a hundred more then. Come on, you finna go do that? Feel me? Hmm. I'm tired of these hoes. You see, uh, Sexy Red was just, uh, like dude was 
kind of aired her out. Yeah, that ain't straight. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. He know that. He know that. He don't care, though. He don't care because another man tries another man treasure. He ain't got <laughs> nothing to lose. He ain't got nothing to lose. He gonna put the bitch on blast. No cap. I don't, who, who, I don't even care who the nigga is, but I like Sexy Red, though. She cool. Yeah, I like she authentic. She music. It's authentic. Yeah, it's authentic. And she, that's why she in the bed with that nigga. She ain't playing with you, nigga. She really, she really about that shit she talking about. You feel me? But I like the bitch. You feel me? She cool. I like how she made music. You feel me? Mm-hmm. She straight. I feel like she'd be a cool homegirl or, or a cool little biatch. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Frosty the Snowman. Me. Hey, <laughs> be- before we get out of here, I do want to say I appreciate you. Definitely going to put you on Say Cheese. Uh, definitely going to put you on Say Cheese. I feel like the world need to see the new Frosty, man. It's no, a new real. and improved. Yeah, I'm a whole different nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the world need to see that. Uh, but definitely feeling the new music, man. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it coming. I got a whole bunch of. Uh, we in the studio right now, so nothing but his studio. You feel me, my nigga Marf, and to mix that shit up, get it going. You feel me? For to put out another mixtape, and I got another one coming after that. I ain't stopping. You feel me? How many um unreleased records do you have? Say probably like forty, but I don't be liking shit. You feel me? Fifty. I don't know. I don't be liking shit. I'll be coming here and practice sometimes. Practice mm-hmm. made perfect. Sometimes you gotta practice. Niggas that don't wanna practice, they get kicked off the team. You feel me? Right. You gotta practice. I don't care how good you is. You feel me? So I'll be practicing and sometimes I might not like it. You might like it, but I don't. So it ain't coming out. You feel me? Next mm-hmm. record. It might come out if I go back and be like, damn, this shit is actually hard. Y'all. Like I didn't did that before, you feel me? But it just all on what the team feel and when I do, I'm making, I'm getting my team together right now. You feel me? So I'm I'm rebuilding it. So I I, I listen to what other people think too, but it's, at the end of the day, it's my decision. Cause you feel me? You know? Are Are you pleased with your stream numbers? How much you make a month off streaming, or do you feel like you know? Fuck that. It's it's no. It's I got to get in another gear. Yeah, fuck that. I ain't pleased with nothing. I I be up like till like six in the morning. I'll get up to like six. Like I think I think like my baby mama she like stop even like tripping off me off come on because it's like bro it's what I'm doing. Like I be up, but I don't be playing though. You feel me? I don't be lollygagging with people. I be getting a business for real. And if not, I'm going home playing 2K for real. No cash. Bro, I I really think with with the TikToks and Instagrams and all the social media, I feel like, I mean, every artist is one hit away, but I definitely feel like you're one hit away. And I don't know what it is, bro. I feel like, I feel like, I, you be, I feel like I'd be like, oh, some nigga shit, they be scared or something. I don't know what niggas be on. I don't know. That, and I feel like, I don't know if it's like, you need a, you just a viral moment away. I don't know if it's a dance or, I, I, don't I know, know exactly bro. what you're saying. I don't saying. know. I'm going to sit back and, and digest this shit. Now, you know what it is, though? I don't be, like, selling myself out, though. Like, I'm really, like, independent. Like, I don't let niggas fuck me over. Like, they already know. Don't even come to that nigga with that type of shit because he going to flip out. Like, I don't even be like, you feel me? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll be on some independent shit, bro, because I feel like, if I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. Like, I'm not tripping on being famous. Like, if it happened, like, I'll be telling people, like, if you're going to be famous, you're going to be famous. Like, like, like you could tell when somebody trying to make somebody famous. You feel me? Like, you feel me? Like, all this, like, nah, I'm mm. I'm going to get organic. Like, that's why at the shows, they're going to pop out. Like, you feel me? Because they like me. You feel me? It's not because I got a feature with this nigga. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Type shit like I want to be like when I want to be a nigga like when them big niggas come they like damn that nigga Frosty a dope feature to have like he gonna make the song hot you feel me like I just got to get that production and we just got to just stay up in this motherfucker like I'll be ready to work and everybody else be like you know they be having their girlfriends to go home to it 
I don't got none of that. I mean, I do. I got three kids. I got girl at home, baby mama, all type of shit. I got the million excuses on not to work. You feel me? But I don't make them. You feel me? So.